this cactus grow is through the, the leaf or the pads, if you like. We try to get a grinder that grinds completely the pad, then you put in a biodigester, then you use it, you produce the then gas for cooking in that, in that matter. They provided a biogas digester to Twala women, which is their partner. To produce the biogas, the women first cut parts of the cactus from the fields. They then proceed to cutting it into smaller pieces before putting it in a grinding machine. The byproduct is then fed to a biodigester which produces methane gas. And this can be used for cooking. The benefit of these uh, biogases for the cactus is uh, one, it will conserve the environment since you cannot get to cut uh, firewood again. It also saves more time for the women because um, once you have the biogas, when you feed one, you can use it four to five days without going back and again uh, bringing the cactus. The other advantage is that it also reduces the impressive plant that dominates the land. The published fruits of the Opuntia cactus also have alternative use. The pulp is used to make various products. You can make jams, which is very, very nutritious. You can make juice, you can make anything else. Joseph's hope is that the population of the cactus will reduce while people still make money from it. And while it's still an uphill battle, the measures have shown effect so far. But the various solutions offered to curb the Opuntia menace have, however, not been without challenges. The biogas system that was brought by permaculture from Nairobi was very expensive, it costed around 300,000. So we will only bring it into an institution like this one with an intention that um, maybe uh, we, we can get uh, uh, more funding to propagate or even to make more homes utilize it. Maybe schools, uh, other women groups like this one, who, and eventually, you know, even get into the households, local households. That is our dream. Reinfecting the cactus is also no easy game. Because these are very minute or small organisms, the winds carry them. When it rains, the, the, the service runoff transport them and kill them. So we need that after every rainy season, we reinfect the parts of the cactus with the cochineal. Marini maintains that the best weapon yet is the cochineal insect. I think the long-term solution, it is the natural solution which is scientifically proven, the introduction and proper management of the cochineal insect, which is its natural predator. Ladies like this uh, bomber who are serious into this, they need help, they need support. The hope is to spread the cochineal insect to other affected areas in the country to achieve what the Tuala Women's Group has achieved.